Hi, it's Kip K for Make Magazine, back with another weekend project. A couple of years ago, I discovered this fun game called Cornhole. And the reason it's called that is because these bags are filled with corn, and the object is to get it in the hole. It's about 30 feet away. You get one point for a bag landing on the board, and three points for a bag going in the hole. Well, this is quickly becoming popular among college campuses and tailgate parties, so I thought it would make a fun project for this summer. So I'm going to show you how to make your very own cornhole boards and bags on today's weekend project. Now there are actual regulation size cornhole boards. If you're going to play in a tournament or a league, which there are quite a few now, then you'll want to build them according to those specs. And that's two foot by four foot in size, made out of plywood. Some are made out of plastic, the commercial ones, but it's much easier to make them out of plywood and that's what the majority of them are made out of. And then two by fours for the base of the board. And then there's also regulation size and materials for the cornhole bags. Now there's a link along with this video to the American Cornhole Association where you can get all of the dimensions for not only the boards and bags, but also for the playing field. So let's get started and make our own cornhole boards and bags. The cornhole boards are made out of half inch thick plywood. Now I opted to get a pre-cut piece, it's called handy panel. It's two by four, pre-sanded, already cut. A lot easier, a little bit more expensive than buying an entire four by eight sheet of plywood, but I don't have a table saw and I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to make right on exact two by four cuts for this length. So it was easy to pick up these two by four handy panels, pre-cut, ready to go. So all we have to do now is start with the base and those are made out of two by fours. So I'm gonna look at the best side of this because I want the best side up. That's gonna be the best side there. So now it's time to go get the two by fours. The small dimension of a two by four, the two, is not really two inches. It's closer to one and a half inches. So our length of our board is 48 inches. We're gonna have two smaller pieces on both ends of our long support. So that equals a total of three inches, one and a half times two. Three inches minus 48 is 45 inches. So that's how long we need to cut two of our two by fours. Now for the end pieces, we need two that are exactly 24 inches in length. So we will measure, mark, and cut those. To do a good job, it's always nice to sand all of the edges of your pieces for your frame, just because it makes a nicer fit and it'll look better when you're done. It's not necessary to use screws, just some good three inch nails I find uh, works the best. And you can put in as many as you want by putting the first one in. And then I always want to put one in all the way at the other end of my board. And then I can add more in the middle. Okay, now it's time to add our long length of our base. So we're gonna put that in, butt it right up against that one edge piece, and do the same thing. Put some nails in, hold it in place. Our final piece is the last end piece. And again, I'm not gonna put this printed side out. I'm gonna make sure that printed side is in. We'll get that in place, and uh, it matches up real close. And we'll nail that in too. For added stability, I drilled two pilot holes on the ends of the two by fours to secure the long two by fours. And I did that in all four corners. And that'll give us a nice secure fit. Okay, our cornhole board base is complete. Now it's time for the hole. Now the hole needs to be nine inches from the end and 12 inches from each side. Obviously centered in the middle of the board, nine inches from one end, and it needs to be a six inch in diameter hole. Well, <laughs> I found a bowl that was exactly six inches in diameter. Perfect circumference to draw our hole. And I'm gonna drill a decent sized pilot hole for the blade on my jigsaw. Since the legs are gonna be resting against the back of the board when it's set up, I'm gonna set the leg up here 
and then I know I need to make a cut. And since I know I need to be 12 inches high, I've calculated the angle to be a 60 degree cut on both of these legs so that the legs are at an angle. And then our cornhole board top is exactly 12 inches. And we'll get to that final dimension in a second. Well, I've made the angle cut. And then to be honest with you, a lot of uh, trial and error testing by holding this up to the back of the cornhole board and looking at the angle, I determined that I would make a small circular cut at the very top of this leg. And what that will allow me to do is it'll allow me to fold the leg up inside the cornhole boards. Uh, I'm gonna put a bolt through there and then I'll be able to fold these up and it'll make it easier for storage and for carrying around. Both legs are cut and now to test it out, I've got my board here and I got my one leg and I'm going to just make sure that this angle is flat on the table and then I'm gonna set it right there just like that take a measurement and I'm about 11 and three quarters. So I still need another quarter inch of height. And how will I do that? Well, by moving the leg forward just a little bit, taking another measurement and a bit more about right there. And I've got my 12 inches. So what I'll do is I'll look under here I'll make a mark with a pencil, and I'll also make a mark with a pencil through the hole in my leg, and I'll have the location of the, the uh, bolt that will go through and hold the leg to the cornhole board. And I'll be using some 5 16 by 3 and a half inch bolts with a locking washer and a wing nut to secure both legs. Okay, I've bolted both legs in place using the three and a half inch bolt, the lock washer, and the wing nut. And our cornhole board is measured at 12 inches. And also the legs now fold up nice for storage or for carrying to wherever you're gonna play cornhole. Well, you need to make a whole nother one of these though because you need two to play cornhole. So you'll have to make a whole nother board just like I showed you. And the last step is the cornhole bags. Duck cloth is used for the cornhole bags because it's a heavy duty cloth that can withstand the pounding that the bags will take as they hit the boards from 30 feet away. And they're filled with whole corn that you can get at pretty much any feed store. Well, I've commissioned my niece, Kim, here to do the sewing for me, to sew up these cornhole bags. Uh, me and sewing machines probably don't get along since I can't remember the last time I've sewed and I know you are a expert at sewing. Regulation cornhole bags are six by six square. So using this big sheet of duck cloth, Kim's measuring off a piece that's seven by 13. And then that'll be sewn up with the corn inside. The cloth is folded in half and then double seams will be sewn on two of the ends, leaving the one open end to fill with corn. The weight of regulation cornhole bags is between 14 and 16 ounces. So we're gonna make these right at 16 ounces and that leaves room for deterioration of the corn over time and then a little bit of loss of weight. So there's one of eight cornhole bags. Now you need to sew up seven more of these because you need eight to play cornhole. Well, your cornhole boards and bags are done. The last step is to personalize your cornhole boards and that means painting them any design or color that you want and you'll want to give this a nice sanding and three or four coats of good paint and a couple of coats of clear. And then you're ready to play. So that's how to make the fun lawn game cornhole. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. <laughs>